compelling evidence that entrepreneurship is a powerful driver of economic growth, that we may make significant contribution to the economy through entrepreneurial activities and involvement in the labor market is indisputable. While the, all the member states have made tremendous strides in ensuring that there is space specific legal and policy framework for women's entrepreneurship development, the challenge has always been in their implementation. Our work at Comesa is therefore to closely collaborate with Comfort to ensure that member states address these issues regarding implementation. There is need to ensure that member states and financial institutions strive to make more capital available to women entrepreneurs. A critical imperative is the need for funding institutions to find more innovative funding models adaptable to where women are instead of where banks and microfinance institutions expect them to be. This will ultimately lead to stronger and more sustainable businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that the Comfort has documented women entrepreneurs who have been equipped with the necessary resources and skills and are running stronger businesses. Some of these women have benefited from the ReCamp project. There is growing awareness of the need to address women's equal access to business leadership and entrepreneurship and the need to incorporate gender into cooperation responsibility and evaluation of impacts of the ways that we do business. However, a significant amount of discrimination remains and continues to exclude women from economic governance and creates barriers for women as business leaders, decision makers, and entrepreneurs. It is important that deliberate programs are implemented to address this matter, as well as gender-based violence that sometimes takes place in the workplace. We are meeting today to review our performance recorded since our last meeting and to agree on strategic matters to shape the future of our organization. Distinguished members of the General Assembly, as you are aware, in the past six months, the Federation has made some significant progress in the implementation of various resolutions of the General Assembly and decisions of the policy organ meetings of COMESA. This meeting is taking place as we enhance our preparedness to implement trade readiness workshops to take advantage of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which became operational in January 2021. In this respect, I want to commend all the chapters for successfully convening the training workshops under the RECAM. I wish to thank Commissioner Secretariat for providing some support for convening some training workshops in the coming quarter, and I wish to request for your unwavering support as we commence the next RECAM training in the upcoming quarter. We have in the past provided women owned and women-led small and medium enterprise SMEs with improved access to finance, market linkages, mentoring, and capacity building, while also addressing policy, legal, and regulatory obstacles that keep the wings of women entrepreneurs. As I look back to 2022, I would like to express my deepest appreciation and gratitude to all our chapters for delivering such remarkable performance in our programs.